This is a walkthrough video of 2249 Grove Street. We're located um, on Grove just west of Shade and just um, uh, east of the trail, which is down there. Grove Street's a real nice Southgate Street. Um, sorry for the noise. They're having a garage sale across the way, but all the houses right here are pretty well kept. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great location. The unique thing about this house is that it has a separate guest house, which can be rented out. Uh, in fact, it's been rented out for uh, 900 bucks a month pretty regularly. It's a one bedroom, one bath. So this is a block construction. It actually has hardy board uh, siding over it just because the owner liked the look of that. There is some work to be done in this. In fact, the owner's in the process of of uh, doing some cosmetics, but I, I think it needs a fair amount of work. And so just to kind of show you through the house, um, it does have seven foot ceilings throughout the house. It's, it's one of those of that vintage, but there's some real unique um, things like the, the ceiling is wood plank. Um, you have this entranceway with a closet here. It is a little, there, it is a little chopped up. Um, so I'll start over here. This is the living area. It does have a fireplace, but the fireplace is not, uh, is not poking through the roof. Uh, when they did the roof, they, they did not add the, the last section of stainless steel piping, which could easily be done. Um, there's tile in here. Um, the windows are in good shape. But it is a little choppy. In fact, it's an opportunity to open up some of these walls to make this one big open space because you have this living area and then you have this dining area, which actually does have pretty cool ceiling. Um, and then the kitchen is kind of a galley style kitchen, which goes on to a mudroom and then into the garage. The garage is a one car garage, but you have a laundry room here. The panel has plenty of space in it. So it's like a pantry. Um, but as you can see, there's, there's a lot of extra little uh, work that needs to be done. And you may even consider opening this kitchen up if you remodel the kitchen. Beyond that, this, is kind of, this was a lanai at one point, And it's been enclosed. It has French doors. And so it's all... Originally, there was a slider here. So this has been enclosed to in, increase the living space. So there's actually a lot of living space. So we have the mudroom, the kitchen... The, the den, I guess we'll call it, or the lanai, the living space um, over here. And so because this is kind of a dead area, I think uh, removing this wall and opening the thing up would totally, um, there's a lot of opportunity there. So beyond that, over here we have two bedrooms and two baths. And I'll start right here. First of all, extra deep closet, cedar lined closet, which is nice. And then uh, this is a guest bedroom. And again, the, the windows are, um, are aluminum windows. This one, you know, there's a, that one has a little crack in it. That door goes into the guest bathroom. But big closets. Here's the guest bathroom. Um, again, that door opens up into this full bathroom. It has a, you know, uh, just a shower in here. And, um, you know, it's tiled all the way around. In here, this would be the master bedroom, and the master bedroom has a slider that goes out to the guest house, which is kind of the surprise and the light. But this bathroom is a little small, also a little choppy. It has a, a shower as well, so there's no tub, which is okay. Um, uh, today, people don't really use tubs. I uh, kind of like the siding there. Big closet in this room. Over here has a real big closet. In fact, you know, I, you could almost redo the bathroom and make the bathroom bigger and make the uh, closet smaller. So, so that's kind of how this goes. So I'm gonna. So that's the main house here. I'm now gonna walk out to the backyard. There's a covered enclosure here. Um, there's a lot of work in process going on, but as you can see, there's actually a real nice deck back there and cool tree. Um, being on Grove. Being on Grove means that you you have this uh, the creek behind you, so this is a little creek, so it affords a lot of privacy and a buffer from the from the neighbor's house. Um, 
the AC is only one year old. The roof's about 10 years old, so the major, the major items are intact. So I guess I'm gonna start right here. This is the guest house. The guest house consists of a one bedroom, one bath um, unit, and then this is the workshop. But this is part of the same structure, and it would be possible to expand the apartment into this area, but as it is, this is a real nice workshop that's probably about 400 square feet. So this, this um, would be very easy to incorporate into the other apartment, if you like. It, it has its own meter, and it has its own um, panel So for this, for this unit. So that's completely separate. So there's another electric bill. The mini split system no. is... Oh, it doesn't. Sure. It, the meter is only for your own reading. It's not nothing. Oh, you have, okay. You have a whole separate bill. I got it. so one bill, but it's separately metered, so you can keep track of that. And uh, the, some of the deck is being replaced here. So, so I'm going to go to the apartment, and it has its own separate entrance, which is real nice. So, um, this unit's been rented for for many years, and you walk in here. Um, and it's a very private kind of little setting here. It's got a little cover, and this was rented for 900? 825. 825, sorry. 700 net. Okay, after, after expenses. So it just has one little bathroom with a shower. It has a living area here that is kind of a, you know, efficiency open up onto the kitchen. There's a, the mini split system is being replaced. That's in the process of being replaced. Um, and then one bedroom. It actually has an exceptionally large closet. But this whole wall on the other side of this wall is that workshop. So, so there's a lot of um, possibility. If you wanted to make this a two bedroom, it's very possible and easy, easy to do. Um, so that's it, this is Grove Street. I think it's a good value, it needs work, but the fact that it has this separate income producing unit as part of it, that's separate, um, that, that makes this a really good deal. I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. Thanks for watching.